In this video, we're gonna be testing and reviewing the Alien Gear Shapeshift Shoulder Holster. If any of you have watched this channel before, you may be saying that we've tested a lot of gear from Alien Gear Holsters, and that's because they see a value in the input that testers give, such as myself. And it usually isn't long if one of us complain about something, Alien Gear is doing something to make some improvements. All that being said, when the shapeshift was first announced a long time ago, there was two prototypes that I really wanted to see. One was the ankle holster that we tested a while back, and the second was the shoulder holster system. As a kid who grew up watching 80s buddy cop films, I'm a sucker for a leather shoulder holster. Yep, this is leather. Actual handcrafted English bridal leather. Mmm, it smells good. I know one of the things you may be thinking is leather may look good and be strong, but it doesn't breathe well. And after a long day of wearing, maybe a little uncomfortable. <laughs> Those little green aliens are way ahead of you. They took this leather and combined it with their cool vent neoprene, making it so it stays in position and it also breathes well. This is a one size fits most holster and in typical Alien Gear fashion, it's very customizable. From cant, ride height, retention style, pistol shell, and spare mag options. It's very easy to throw over your shoulder and clip to your belt. In my opinion, this secures a pistol quite well from a full size 1911 to a smaller Ruger LCP2. They put stretchable fabrics in all the right places that allows you to stay mobile. I never felt at any time that the holster restricted my movement. I know the number one question a lot of people ask in every holster review video and that is concealability. How well does this system conceal? My number one issue with shoulder holsters in general is that it's really hard to hide where the pistol is. It's on the part of most people's body where there shouldn't be a bulge. And it, depending on what you're wearing, that's where you're gonna run into some issues. The straps themselves conceal well because of the edge binding and I never felt that you could see any kind of strapping system that made it look like you're wearing a bra or something. The problem though is, is where the pistol is. And that's just because of the fact that the human body doesn't have a curve there like, like with a hip holster. But the problem that you run into is that it's just there's a bulge there. No matter what you do, no matter how small the gun is versus a full size or even some of these pocket guns, is that there's a bulge where there shouldn't be a bulge on a human body. And so with a coat, like I said, you could probably get away with it. But any other time with like a thin suit jacket, unless you have it custom tailored so that way it maybe flows right there, I don't think this is a good option for concealed carry. For open carry though, great option. They have multiple levels of retention they offer, so that way you know your pistol is going to be secured no matter what, even if someone tries to go for your gun. So practical uses I think for this holster, if you live in an open carry state, number one right there would be a great idea. If you like to carry while hiking or while hunting, that's another great option. If you're on land that allows it, in my state, on private land, we'd be allowed to do that. And I think that'd be a great option for that when you don't want to have a pistol on your hip or it wouldn't be easy to access under layers of clothing, shoulder holster would be a great option. Now another thing I do like about this is that there's a leather strap that goes between your arm and the holster itself. And I think that's very comfortable. There's no you know, harsh edges from plastic or you know, the pistol itself. So I think that's a good idea that they had. You just unvelcro it and you could remove the shapeshift shell. Now this is compatible with the shapeshift holster system and the cloak mag carrier. You can carry up to two cloak mags. They do have the option to reduce bulk by removing the mag carrier and using a link strap. In this day and age, I know it's getting harder and harder to find American made gear. That's not the case with Alien Gear. All their products are 100% made in the USA. So if you don't want to take my word for this review and you want to test it out yourself, go ahead. Alien Gear has a 30 day test drive, so if you don't like it, you can send it back. This also comes with a lifetime warranty, so if anything on this system breaks, they're going to fix it for you. I would like to say thank you to Alien Gear Holsters for sending us this product for test and evaluation. And whenever Wayne or anybody at Alien Gear sends me a product, they always do a special request that we are 100% honest. If we don't like something, they want to hear it. This is by no way a bias paid for review. It should go without saying, but thank you to the Firing Pin in Virgin, New York. They're great people over there. They provide us with a place to shoot and do a lot of the testing. 
And you know what? If you're looking for a good deal on guns or ammo or a place to talk shop and talk about firearms, check them out. The Firing Pin in Virgin, New York. Thank you so much for watching Take Aim TV. Please comment below if you have any ideas that you want to see us do in the next upcoming videos. As always, please subscribe to our YouTube channel, follow us on Carbon TV, Instagram, and like our Facebook page. Remember, stay aware, carry often, and we'll see you next time.